Happy noon, everybody. It is April, May 10th, 2017. I want to wish my dad a happy birthday. I know you're watching. This is strategy now. This is where we pick out some strategies that you can deploy for your portfolio. And these are ones that uh, money managers, investment advisors, and so forth utilize in their construction and their portfolio execution. Why shouldn't you? And today what I want to talk about is an oldie but a goodie, and it's the cover call. And it's a very straightforward concept. It's where you have long stock, specifically 100 shares, and you're selling a call against it. Now, of course, you have to remember with all of these things that we discuss here at MarketStream.Live, these are just for example purposes only. Uh, and as full disclosure, we do not have, myself nor my clients, have a position in any of the stocks that we're going to be discussing in these examples and they are for ex educational purposes only. Now again, what are the cover call critical elements? You see them listed right here. Market outlook, neutral to slightly bullish. Well, hey, we've been in a slightly bullish market right now. Very big grind. It's overall been trending to the upside, but for the last couple of weeks, we've had a grind. You're looking for limiting your risk, right? You want to offset any capital exposure, um, mitigate some of that, uh, with your current long position, in this case, long stock. Now, you are willing to give up some of that reward to reduce your capital risk on your core position, which is the long stock. And in this particular example, you must own 100 shares for every call option that you're going to sell. So really what it looks like is this. Let's say, for example, I buy a stock. I pay $37.07. So I have to have $3,707 in my account. Now, I, wanna, I don't want to pay retail. In other words, I want to buy at a discount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell an option, specifically a call option that's expiring in June, and it's going to be the $39 call, which is $2 higher than where the current market is trading and where I'm going to buy it. I'm going to be able to collect $0.45. Cents. So basically, when you think about that, I have a profit target up to $39.45. Once the stock reaches that level, I don't make any more money. So that's basically about a $237, $240 profit target that you have on this stock between now and June expiration, which happens to be about 38 days. Now, with that being said, though, you're offsetting your purchase price by the amount of premium you receive by $0.45. Cents. So I'm not buying stock at 3706, I'm buying stock at 3662. In other words, 1% less than what the current prevailing market price is. That's what the trade-off is. You give up all that unlimited upside, but the last time I checked, I don't know what unlimited upside is. It may feel like it in this environment, but I don't know what it is. And it's giving me a cost basis that's already below where the market is. So if the market pulls down 1% in this particular stock, I am break even up to 36.62. And it also offsets a loss. So where if I buy 100 shares at 37.07 and the stock goes to 36.05, I'm going to be out $102. But in this case, because I sold these calls, collected the 45 cents, I'm only out $57. Now, this is a great way where you can develop a dividend stream. If you don't have the conviction, for example, that this particular stock is going to go above 39.45 between now and June expiration over the next 38 days, you have just created at least bare minimum, if the stock stays at the same level where you buy it, a 1% dividend for that time period. In other words, if you hold it between now and June expiration, which is in 38 days, that's the third Friday in June. If you annualize that, folks, basically if you do this for, let's say, 11 months, you're going to have an, uh, a dividend of right around 13%. Right? You're going to be collecting roughly about 1%, a little over 1% every single month, let's say for 11 months. That means that you're going to create that excess dividend or that excess premium, and you're going to be able to write down your portfolio. So as a matter of fact, by the end of... 2017, my cost basis is no longer $37. My cost basis will be somewhere more along the lines of $35 to $34, regardless of anything else. Now, if this stock pays a dividend, 
let's say a 3% dividend, that's an extra kicker, right? If it pays an annual dividend of 3%, now you have 17% to offset your stock. Let's say the stock goes to 39 between now and June expiration. Well, that's a 6.5% gain on your current position, which is a $3,700 risk portfolio on 100 shares. That's pretty impressive, right? 6.5% gain in 38 days. Don't even annualize that because, boy, your head's going to start spinning and going, why isn't everybody else doing this? Well, the reason why is because no one else in mainstream media is talking about the components of this. Now, of course, if you ever have any questions, considerations, or anything of that nature, you can always email me. But let's take a look. At, and my email address is jcusick at moneyblock.com, or you can email MarketStream at info at marketstream.live. Let's actually take a look at Toll Brothers. Now, again, this is not a recommendation to buy, sell, or hold Toll Brothers. Just looking at it as an example. It does have earnings coming up in the next 13 days. As a matter of fact, um, if you look at it, uh, right now, Toll Brothers uh, is estimated to have a earnings of around 62 cents. It's on the 23rd of May. So if I were going to look for a setup, I actually will jump into the trading platform and show you how this is actually executed. Um, pretty straightforward stuff, very easy to do. Um, and so what we want to do is just log into the trading account. I'm going to use Trading Block. Uh, I'm, I'm utilize trading block and money block. And what I'm going to do is go into the account. I'm actually going to go into the virtual platform. Um, and I'm going to go to trade. And I'm going to go to options. And I'm going to type in Toll Brothers, T O L. And the strategy is going to be a covered call. So I go down here. It sets it all up here. So I'm going to buy 100 shares. And I'm going to scroll down here. And I'm going to display the Greeks. And I want to have about 40, between 35 and 50 days until expiration, which is going to get me right around that June 16th expiration date. And you'll clearly see right now, I'm probably looking at the 30 Delta call, which is the $39 call in June. Um, that basically right here. So I'm going to do that. And so basically what the system has done right now is, is that I'm going to buy 100 shares at the prevailing market of 3907. I'm going to sell one of the June 39 calls. So those expire on June 16th, which is roughly 38 days to expiration. And I'm going to pay... Let's say we'll just pay the offer, uh, 36, 70, 64, 36, 64, 36, is my break even point. So that's telling me that basically I have 45 cents, uh, until I start feeling any pain on the downside and I have profit potential up to the strike price that I'm selling 39 plus the 45 cents, so that's 39.45. That gives me basically $2.45 of potential profit in this $36 stock, which is roughly 6.5% for 38 days. Folks, 6.5% if it goes up to or above 39. Now, if you think that it's going to go way above 39, then there's better strategies. Let the stock run. But we... The, the probability that it's going to be above 39, well, if the delta is 30, that means that there's a 30% probability that the stock will be above 39 or at 39 by June expiration over the next 38 days. Now, that will change as time passes and the stock moves. But at this juncture, there's only a 30%, actually specifically a 29% probability that this uh, option will be in the money at expiration. I'm going to review this order. And then the system, what it's going to do is it's going to break down exactly what I'm buying, what I'm selling, and tell me what my net costs are. And you can clearly see that I'm right now it's being offered at, yep, we'll put it in at 36.64, and we'll see if we get filled. Okay. 
So we're working it right now. Uh, currently, the market is being offered there. We'll see if we get filled. Once we are filled, uh, what we will do is we will basically manage the trade from there. So today, all we did was cover the traditional cover call. Uh, one other thing that's notable is when you look at for cover calls, what's an optimal stock to do a cover call in? One, as I said, when you look at this checklist, one thing is your market outlook is neutral to slightly bullish. Uh, you're looking for a limited risk, limited reward return. You own about 100 shares. You have to own 100 shares if you're going to be selling one call outright. One other thing that's notable is, is you'd like to see that the implied volatility rank is starting to get into that 30, 40, 50, 60 range because then that means you're getting paid to sell those out of the money options, that there is excess premium in there. Look, once you start seeing it over that 39, in this case, the IB rank and Toll Brothers is 39. Once you see that it's at 40, 50, 60, 70, look to see why. The reason why, as we had noted, is they have earnings and their forecasted date of earnings is 523. So we have a binary event that could move the stock. And specifically right now, the stock has over the next 38 days, the potential, it's pricing in the estimated move of around $2.30, which is right where our break even point is on this particular strategy. As you remember, this particular strategy starts to break even, uh, or I, I mean, I'm sorry, maximum profit is right around um, $2 to, or $39, and specifically it's at $39.45. So you have a $238 profit target uh, it, but that's all you'll make after that. The probability that it's going to get above that level, it's less than 30%. The probability that you're going to have a profit on this particular trade is around 55%. The probability of making 50% um, is right around uh, 50%. So it's the same as if you had bought the stock outright. And again, all we're trying to do when we utilize the cover call strategy is to create a dividend stream, reduce our cost basis, especially if we have the conviction that we do not believe that the stock is going to get above that short strike price. And this is an excellent way, folks, to reduce your cost basis, reduce your capital exposure, especially in markets that look like this, a grindy market like this. Look at the Dow Jones, right? Just grindy, grindy, grindy. So this is the kind of market that if you were selling calls between April and May and all, basically all year, you could have been grinding out an extra half a percent, one percent, one and a half, maybe even two percent if we get a little volatility spike, especially in individual stocks. So that's how you want to start playing it in this market. All right, folks, that's it for strategy now. Join me at 3.30 Eastern time. I'm going to be on with Tech Talk. So here, here at Market Seem Not Live, we'll see you then.